Hey guys, Ogi Sanchez and welcome to the channel. If you guys like Lost Ark as much as I do, you should go ahead and hit that subscribe button so you can stay notified to everything Lost Ark as I will be posting Lost Ark videos via on this channel for the foreseeable future. Now with that out of the way, let's hop straight into today's video. Today we're going to talk about the newly added pet ranch that we got with today's update, the August update. And how to actually unlock it is pretty simple. Once you come into your stronghold, you'll have a little quest with, your, with the mana manager. You just go over to her and you can see that playing in the background they just go there complete the quest you have to have the farm unlocked so you have to be at least level 15 with your stronghold so you actually have the like farm area where you know you can go and gather your own materials and stuff and then you just take the teleporter do the quest and then you unlock the pet ranch so as we i can see now on the background here these are all the vendors involved so the pet ranch is there at the back once it's all actually finished then you have a couple of vendors so the first vendor over here he will sell you a bunch of stuff now these jam cookies is pretty much what your pets are making for you so these you'll get more and more of these as time goes on and the long and the short about it is you put your pets i think it's this vendor over no it's the second vendor we talked to this one over here so the ranch part is the, to like let your pets rest the first one over there the ranch setting if you place them in there they'll actually rest and they'll regain their morale that's pretty much their energy and if you go to the cookie workshop you can actually have up to three pets in here maybe more later on i'm not sure how that's going to work but we uh, seem to be able to have up to three right now the third one you can actually get from uh, research in your stronghold i'm actually researching it right now cookie party it was pretty cheap and then there was another one as well with fixed defense that also adds another slot to the where they can like rest so you just need a little bit of timber and some ore and then it's really cheap on the gold so just go get some timber and ore and actually start these i have started that one there i think it's a five hour research and then we can actually have three pets going at once so anyway what happens the pets are in the cookie workshop they drain energy the longer they stay in there they'll make you cookies and they'll actually gain expertise so they get better at making cookies so to say and you can come in there you can see their expertise you can see the morale consumed per production and expertise gained per production produces three cookies per 10 minutes. So every 10 minutes when these guys are in here, they will use 300 morale and they'll make you three cookies. And then once their morale is like zero, you pretty much got to take them out and then put them in the ranch of yeah, so they can actually rest and then regen their energy back up. You see these ones over here are all full on energy, but I don't have any more cookie slots. I'm busy researching that now. So once I put in another pet there, then you can like pretty much rotate them in and out the whole time. So you use up all the energy, get all the cookies, put them in the ranch so they can regen. You can have six regening and you can have three making your cookies. So it can pretty much just be like a in and out the whole time with all your pets. Anyway, they make you the cookies and you take the cookies and you spend them over here at this vendor. This box of here is probably the one that we're going to buy the most. I bought two because you do actually get a thousand of these jam cookies once you finish the startup quest. When you get the Vitamiel, which you can use to give them back morale as well. So if we go back to them any over there, you actually click this over here and will actually give them some of this like food pretty much. And it'll boost their morale by 1,440. So right now we can actually max it out again. Just give them some more. And that puts them back up to like pretty much almost cool and there's their level as well you can see the expertise that goes up the more that they're in there and then i think once the expertise is full they probably make more cookies or something we'll have to see we'll make another video later on once we get more into this and we actually like further progressed into it and see what happens once our pets all get leveled up but that's pretty much that that's the long and the short about it you come into this and there you can buy potions the it increases the, the expertise of your pets to so you increase expertise from the pet inventory and over there we have pet inventory expansion slots you know you've got the pet inventory in your inventory like right over there you can actually increase these but it has to be a legendary pet so you need a legendary pet and you need to buy this with 10,000 of these jam cookies and i'm pretty sure a lot of you guys are rather going to buy some of these uh there's a lot of little clothing icon stuff there's hats and the one that i like the most is actually the this little mask over there i think it's this one over here yeah, the ears over there. Apparently all the sulfists use that. That's what I've heard. And then this one over here is 10,000. And this is the little jacket with the wings and little tail. And this is diable. It's probably what most people are going to be going after when they get the pet farm. And then over there is a weekly roster limit on a card pack as well. So every week you can buy a card pack. 3,500 jam cookies. I'm pretty sure later on we'll have a lot of these cookies. And we'll start buying it every week. 
see if we can actually get that bought this way. You can work towards your cards, but mainly it's just for cosmetics over there, a bunch of different outfits that you can come look through. And then these things over here is what we're using. So pet customization potion. Apparently you can make one of your pets look like a different pet. And that is the only on the legendaries, I believe. Use it on a legendary pet in your pet inventory. And then you can change the appearance of it. Expansion for a legendary pet. It's only got the roster limit of one, so you can only buy this one time. There's expertise potion. And then this over here, the pet growth token and the battery. You can actually use the battery, I believe, is once you're in there, you've got to use booster. So they like produce you pretty much on the spot. It's just like a time reduction for a stronghold. And then yeah, the battery is what you'll use over there. But if you come on over to this vendor, you can actually change your um, rapport items, which I would not suggest for the Vitamiel, the stuff that gives them back energy. I'm pretty sure like this, that's a relic uh, rapport item there right there. And I only get a hundred Vitamiels. So I don't think I'll ever be exchanging these. Maybe the purples if I'm like desperate to get Vitamiels, but I think we'll get enough of this like food to feed them. We don't really need it. We do have it from the login as well. I see we've got some over there. We've got some over there. Yeah, we got two Vitamiels and then we got a pet as well. So keep a lookout on the login stuff. And I probably wouldn't end up using the report items on that. And then if you come to the pet, now there's this new thing called pet upgrade. And you can actually upgrade your epic pet to a legendary pet. But you need 30 of these pet growth tokens. You see, I have one there. And we got them from that little chest over there. It's probably, it's really RNG though because this chest has a chance to contain one to 10 pet growth per chest. I opened two and only got one pet growth token. I got zero batteries and then I got uh, the vitamins that I have. I think I got like 40 or something like that. Yeah, it's pretty random what you get out of that pet chest, but I assume we're gonna spend most of our cookies on that over there. And then obviously buying out all the, the cosmetics. I'm not sure if this is per character or per roster. It doesn't say anything over there per roster, per character. So I guess we'll have to see once we actually buy the first one, if we can go ahead and buy it on another one. So that's pretty much it, guys. If you guys have any tips or tricks, put them down below in the comments. If you have any questions, ask them down below in the comments. Go ahead and join my Discord as well. I'm trying to build that up for you guys so we can all like make a little Lost Ark community. Then just the gaming community in general so we can all help each other out and chat. I'm in there quite often with a bunch of my guildies and we're doing Lost Ark stuff. So just pop on in whenever you guys want. Join the channel, join the chat. And if you guys like this video, please hit the like button and the subscribe. It helps me out so much. And I will catch you guys in the next one. Okay, stand out. Run free and dive into the sky. Hear the wind crying out its prayer.